Hello everyone, welcome back. So, if we go ahead and play our scene here, we've got all of our characters spawning in the scene, and we've got their logic running so they can fade in, and they can move, and they can speak, and all that good stuff. However, if we take a little adventure over to our hierarchy here, if we look down at their names, then we've got these clones, and, you know, this guard is showing up as generic. That needs to show up as the actual character name. So I'd like to make a little small episode so that way we can name our characters to whatever name we pass in for them. That way we get rid of the clone and it looks better and it's more accurate instead of just showing generic here. If we made three guards, they would all show up as character generic and then clone one, clone two, whatever. So let's go ahead and fix that. This is simple enough. If we come into where we create our prefab, all we need to do is rename our character. So ob dot name equals something okay so this is going to be taking a look back to our character manager and we have our character prefab here this is our character prefab name so i'm just going to copy that and i'm going to take this in here paste it but inside of this id i'm going to replace that with name so we're renaming the character so if we play then we have all of our characters named correctly but now the only issue with this is we have our character format referenced twice, and I don't like that. I also don't like having a whole bunch of strings here that will just keep adding on top of each other, but I really don't like having this string referenced in two separate locations, because if I ever change that, then I'm going to have to change it in two spots, and I'm going to have issues with my script. So let's go ahead and get rid of that for a second, come back to character manager, and let's do something different. I'm going to make one more string here, and this one's going to be private string for the character prefab name. And this one is simply going to be this prefab name right here. And then I will inject that inside of the prefab path. And so now we've got the isolated character prefab name that we can use for another purpose. And my character class is going to need access to this. So this function, or this variable rather, I'm going to make public. It can't be assigned anyway, so it's safe to retrieve it. I don't need it for these, but for consistency, I'll make these available as well, just in case a future script needs to reference those paths. And for extra readability, I'll go ahead and rename these to have format at the end. Since this is not a direct reference to a specific path, but the format of a path. And now if we scroll down, we have a format character path option here. So let's just make that public as well. And now that's available to our character. So we can say that manager.format character path, the path we want to format is the manager.prefab name format. And we want to inject the name of the character that we're working with. And by applying that, we get our characters and they are all named as they should be. So that's it for this video. It was a short one, not something that's necessary for the functionality of the project, but for readability and for my OCD, it certainly makes a big difference. Now, the next video, we're going to be looking at how to make our characters change their expressions. And we'll be changing this on a per layer basis for each character just the first and default for the single layer characters and whichever one we want for the multi-layer characters. This will be both for the sprite and the sprite sheet characters, and that's going to be starting next week. So until then, I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you then.